Hello folks, how is everybody? I hope everybody is well. So uh, we are going to look at the situation between you and a specific person and if it sounds like your situation then we will look at this person's current thoughts about you, their current feelings for you and then we will look at their next likely action. So let's see, we will look at uh, the current energy. Ooh, nine of wands, knight of wands. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords, and the King of Cups. Okay, well, um, there's difficulty here for sure. Uh, maybe even a possible disconnect with that Eight of Cups. It sort of looks like someone here uh, stopped. Um, there's this feeling like something was this person was supposed to do something or something was supposed to happen here um, but it looks like this person just like watched you walk away or walked away and didn't take action towards something um, and this person's now like uh, watching you online and stuff as much as they possibly can um, and they do have feelings for you but there's definitely wounding here um, and this is showing up as something that this person seems to be uh, finding mm, difficult to carry it looks like an action to me. So it looks like someone did not take action uh, and somebody walked away. Five of Wands. Queen of Swords. Eight of Swords. The Lovers. And the Five of Swords. Again, I'm getting a similar message. There seemed to have been some sort of block or issue when, the, when it came to this person getting past a certain point of getting a really stopped energy. Um, I think that you possibly walked away from this person. And I think that maybe it wasn't easy for you. It was something that you really didn't want to do. Um, it's something that you, you maybe still think about. But uh, with this Queen of Swords, I feel like you walked away from this person or uh, made that decision. Yeah, because there's the lovers, look. Queen of Swords, Eight of Cups and the lovers. So you made some sort of choice to disconnect and walk away from this person. Um, right now, it looks like there's bad energy between you both in some way. Right, let me see. So if that sounds like your situation, we will look at this person's thoughts about you, uh, feelings for you, and then what they're likely to do. So let's see. First of all, thoughts about you in this situation. Three of swords. Five of wands. Knight of cups. Five of Cups, look at this. Wow. And Temperance. There's a lot of sadness and regret here. Um, it's over this again, this block, this uh, moment where it seems this person could have taken some sort of action towards you, but didn't. They're thinking about hurt, pain, uh, regret, sadness, loss. Two of Swords. Five of Swords. <clears throat> this person's trying not to think about the situation, but they can't help it. It's kind of like going around in their mind, <clears throat> and like every now and then, just like kind of like you know, at, you know, attacking them, hurting them. It's because there's like some sort of truth or something here about. It's almost like this person couldn't do something. Yeah, look, truth, Ace of Swords. I'm telling you, this is like someone who's kicking themselves. like they dropped the ball or something and there was so much to lose and it feels like so much has been lost to this person so this person was not taking whatever this was lightly knight of pentacles uh, maybe this person again i feel like this person was going too slow someone here had an opportunity and i think it was sort of like a last shot or something for this person and I think they kind of uh, failed and now they're just kind of miserable. Okay, so let's see. Feelings. Okay. 
feelings. Yes of Cups. Two of Swords. These cards are coming in again. Five of Swords. Four of Pentacles. There's this feeling of being locked out. I keep getting locked out. Eight of Swords. So the feelings are still there. Um, there is sort of like, it's not that anything's gone. There's still love and emotions here, you know. Um, but they're kind of like, remember I said earlier, they're trying not to like think about it and but they can't help it and stuff. You know, this is kind of coming through like emotionally here as well. Um, and this person feels that they're in a situation here where they are um, now unable to maybe get to you or access you. Let's see. Six of Pentacles. Four of Cups. The Moon. Mm, there's some sort of exchange or something here that happened or didn't happen between you and this person. That this person's just ruminating on and trying to suppress. But there's a there's unhappiness here. This is a, a really fed up energy. The High Priestess. And the Ace of Wands, like we're starting and ending with Aces here. So uh, this person, in terms of feelings, they do want to have a new beginning with you. Um, but their feelings are kind of like overwhelmingly heavy and uh, negative and in a I can't sort of um, mentality rather than I can. So that's not really, um, I guess, helping things. But let's see. They're kind of feeling a wee bit like on autopilot is the best way to describe all of that. It just kind of seems like this person's going through the motions in their life. Could be like eating and stuff a lot. <laughs> I know whenever I get like a bit annoyed in my own sort of like, you know, like you get these months where you're just feeling like, meh, um, I can't stop eating. <laughs> I can't stop eating. Okay, so let's see. Intentions. The Hierophant. The King of Cups. The Eight of Cups. The Two of Wands. And the Knight of Cups. I wouldn't say that there's any like crazy, um, I don't think this person's thinking this far ahead, to be honest. I mean, the Hierophant's positive because it talks about things that are traditional. So it could be this person's wanting some sort of traditional dating with you, with that Knight of Cups, uh, ask you out or to reconnect and uh, express some sort of emotions. Um, but like with this sort of like two of wands and, well, you know, it could be that they're planning to come forward, I guess. But um, it more kind of looks like this person's a wee bit undecided, just with the image on that card. You know, it kind of looks like she's a wee bit in and out of that door. Um, so I'm more inclined to take that sort of interpretation rather than, you know, like maybe planning something. Um, it seems uncertain. Um, so I think that this person's kind of viewing, because this card keeps coming back. This There's like an issue between you and this person that seems like, you know, isn't something that can be easily solved. Like she's far too big for that door. Um, I don't know, maybe she could jump over the wall. Maybe there's a, a need to, you know, like, uh, change the way you guys are doing something. Um, but this is kind of uh, more the focus at this time. Let me see if I can get anything else. Five of Wands. See, again, there's that, like, blockage. So there's, like, a major sort of, like, issue between you both that needs to be resolved uh, first. This person's, like, I think they're really emotional. They're like trying not to be and they're trying to shut it off and stuff, but I think this person's really emotional. I think they're trying to cope with something here. The High Priestess. King of Wands. Death. And the Ten of Swords. I 
Empress is at the bottom of the deck and there's that knight that's not moving. So the intentions here um, could be possibly, like I said, to try and like break through whatever this is, this barrier. Um, but again, there's something here about like long term change uh, regarding your issue. Whatever it was that like broke you up was obviously bigger than this, but your person sort of like focusing on whatever this is as the main issue rather than the fact there was something like larger than you both. Um, so there needs to be some sort of like significant change and you would need to see this person taking action towards significant change uh, in order for this sort of uh, situation to change uh, with that death card. But um, I don't know. I don't think this person has any big plans or anything. They're just kind of miserable right now. So I think that's sort of um, clouding everything. Okay, so let's see. What is this person likely to do? What is this person likely to do? The Empress. The Six of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Four of Cups. I need to clarify this Six of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. The High Priestess, the Ten of Swords, the World, and the King of Cups. Okay, so it looks uh, pretty clear that this person is going to attempt some sort of um, new beginning with you, with that Ace of Cups. Um, it's about overcoming some sort of issue, again, that this person, you know, had in their mind. There is feelings here for you. I don't know if this person's overly expressive of their feelings. Um, and some of you, I am getting like a strong connection here. I don't know um, if there was like longevity or this has been going on for a long time. Some of you here are dealing with like a spouse, perhaps or an ex spouse or an ex-partner. So this person's coming forward, uh, they're going to break down that barrier because there's like unhappiness um, in their own sort of like life. This is going to continue, this wallowing energy could continue for a while and then eventually this person will get some uh, motivation towards uh, this connection and uh, fixing something here and uh, ending this painful, difficult cycle between you both. Uh, this person is, you know, this person does have feelings for you, um, but I don't know. I don't like that this person doesn't have like crazy strong sort of like plans for the future. I don't know. Let's see. What can we ask to sort of clarify that energy? Because there still seems to be something that you need from this connection. So if this person comes back for a reconnect, say, right, and uh, they're you know, trying really hard and you decide to give this person another chance, um, which is what they want, uh, what can you sort of like expect then from this connection? What can you expect? Ten of Swords. Ace of Wands. Okay, so I'm assuming that that is that spark um, after a painful ending between you both. The Hanged Man, the Three of Wands, and the Empress. Okay, so it is showing the relationship as having some sort of potential here. The Hanged Man is interesting in this position because, um, and the Five of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Um, do you remember earlier I was saying like about that woman needing to jump over the wall and maybe you guys just need to change the way you're doing something? Um, it could be some sort of shift here um, in terms of like you guys making plans for the future and the growth of the connection specifically. So I think this person needs to get over the first initial sort of like hurdle um, that's going on between you both at this time. It's really built up in their mind um, they're very emotional about it. They're very sad. Uh, they're wallowing a bit. I think they're going to wallow for a while. Um, they intend to come forward eventually, but like 
their main sort of focus is on fixing this rather than you know what next um which is a bit annoying uh but when i'm asking about the potential of the connection it is showing that it does have some sort of potential uh for growth uh, and future with that three of wands so yes that is what i am seeing there is like a negative energy between you both at this time someone could be um questioning another person's morals so yes, that is what I'm seeing. I hope that that has helped. Thank you very much and I hope you have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye bye.